Quilts, and today we are going to visit Francesca. We are going to see her studio tour today. So I just thought I would do an intro here and I will see you at her home. Francesca's house and she uses her basement area for lots of different things but I'm in her actual sewing area now and I thought that we'd get started with the tour so I'm at the door that comes into the basement and we're here right at this cutting area and we're gonna show you the entire area later but when I go to my right we start the pan of her actual sewing space so I'm up at the top here She's got these nice shelving units, just beautiful. And just a pan, and then we're going to come back and show you everything. That she has. And then we're back at the door here where I actually came out of. Okay, so we're just going to start with the table here. She says she doesn't mind being in the camera, but she doesn't want to be in here a lot. So we're only going to put her in when it's absolutely necessary. So on this table, can you tell, first of all, what these tables are? These tables are display cases for a business that went out of business. Warehouse of Stuff has shelving, all kinds of stuff, and they moved from the Famous and Bar warehouse out to St. Charles it's worth a trip these things are on wheels and you know they're not pretty but they hold an awful lot of stuff right so she purchased two of these for here and she has a third one in another area that she uses and you said 50 bucks for these tables it was a while ago it's like wow. six years ago wow but and so she uses them for cutting and got these giant mats on them which are nice because then you don't have to worry about the seams but she also has smaller mats on top that are good for when you need to turn as well so excellent job she's got all of her rulers she uses stored here on this table project she just finished and then project she is now working on her storage on this is awesome too this table has an awful lot of storage and she stores her fabrics here i'll walk you around but notice that here this is a photo that she's taken of what's in this tote so she knows exactly what's in this tote and then she put it in a sleeve and so she's got containers for everything marked she thinks that she's a little anal with that part but i think it's wonderful and some people like this type of organization and that's why we're actually doing these videos in the first place so now we're going to go back and start with her shelving units here this is an idea if you don't want to pick up the whole roll of batting and I do keep it covered. So let me show them the end. She's got like a rod through the batting where the batting is hooked onto the shelving with some S hooks. Hoping you can see that because this is very clever. And then she doesn't have to have the batting out and she keeps it covered because it's in the basement and basements are normally a little dustier. You can cut right along the edge. Oh wow. That's so pretty you get cool. A straight edge by just by just well, a straight edge. Just you're going to get. Very nice. And then there's books and all the paraphernalia. <laughs> and I, I, I. So she says for herself, she likes to have things out and be seen because if she can see them, then she's more likely to use them. Okay, then you can go ahead. Okay. And then, I mean, that's particularly true of notions. So this junk came from Amazon. 
mm -hmm. and you know it's a matter it takes a while to find where you where you're gonna to, to, to figure out where to find stuff mm -hmm. I made these Hold on. these are portable design walls okay so it's three-eighths of an inch of plywood so she's I, got two of those and I threw batting on it okay because I was tired of getting up around and it's, the sewing it's machine. the gray line batting which is nice it, yeah mm -hmm. it's and you just recently purchased that and made these. I just made these. So this fabric came from Batiks Plus. Okay. And which is a shop in St. Louis area. And to not have to because I'm I didn't want to use staples because I wanted to be able to take it off and 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 wash wash it, it if you need if to. I needed to. That's nice. So very nice. It's, and and it's easier to. I'm hoping that having the design wall next to where I sit sewing makes it faster. So what and easier. what storage in these containers? These are my scraps. Okay, my so those are your scraps and pre cuts. And pre -cuts. <laughs> okay. And then the basket next to you, why is that here? Is that sewing related or it's a project I want to be able to do embroidery and okay. I haven't so pulled it's it a out nice yet. another type of storage. Okay. Yeah. And then I noticed that she has a lot of gift wrap containers that she stores in. Like your rolls of gift wrap, they're longer, and she says she stores her home deck fabrics in those. So that's another creative storage idea as well. And then... And I made that ironing board cover. I know so, that's really silly, but... So, <laughs> I she's got this piece on top. She says she loves purple when I came in. But yeah, but she got piece on top here. How she said it's getting worn and then she had another cart I've never seen this cart before I've seen the three tier cart but never this four one and I think that these top baskets are also bigger so she got this also on Amazon she says she thinks around 50 bucks so that's pretty cool and now your sewing areas I have I bought the baby lock because I was throwing my Bernina out of whack when I was making heavy totes. Okay. So that's a very, it's an accomplished and it'll sew through anything. That's the name of an accomplished? Yeah. Okay, so it's just a straight stitch machine. It, well, yeah. Okay. It'll do buttonholes and other things. It came with other feet. Okay. And then, and then this machine here. This is my. <laughs> Your Bernina girl. <laughs> very <laughs> nice. hiding. <laughs> and she's got one of those little storage bags that I just purchased. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I just got that. I'm so used to putting things beside me, though. I, I, I forget, and I just throw things there. And then I have a serger, and I, I made dust covers <laughs> she a long a time ago. She purple iron, people. <laughs> She really hey, loves purple. Rowenta came that color. <laughs> <laughs> and then I cool. my other sewing machine that I take on trips. And it's candy to have next to Which the, one is that one? That's a 440. That okay, one Renina works. 440. Yeah. Okay. And then I <laughs> Do you use your computer down here? Yeah, because <laughs> there's I used to have a, a, the 630 had a motor failure and you could plug the computer into the 630 okay. and, or 440 and Okay. Anyway. Very cool. For design. And then you also have another design wall that's hanging on hooks as well. We yes. didn't talk about that. So that's actually a third design wall. That's the one she had before and she just made the other two that are more portable design walls. She can put them wherever. Because I got lazy of having to get up and <laughs> put things on it and mm -hmm. walk around the table. So yes. And then she has another kind of hanger up here that's on some hooks. So she's real creative. You did all of this stuff yourself? I had as a guy who helped me well, okay. and help me with the lights. The okay, because concrete is hard. You got to drill into it and I have it stable, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't have the muscle. Okay, but very nice. But she's been working on this for a few years. She's had some setbacks with uh, water coming in to the, her home, and she's fixing that. So she's done a beautiful job. So we're going to just walk around. I see she's got all of her spray starch alternatives here, which is nice. I'd love to have uh, different alternatives. So, the big elephant in the room is her long arm here. She has the HQ Avante. Yeah. And we're, I just want to show you that because most of the storage over here is machine based for either her regular machines or this long arm machine. So, go ahead and tell us what we're looking at. Um, well, that's actually, this is, that's embroidery. Okay, so this is her embroidery cart. That's my Bernina stuff. Her Bernina. And some of the rules I don't use as often. Okay. 
and, and then this card is all of mostly long arm mostly stuff here. Long arm stuff. So and a I lot of her handy quilter rulers are stored back those here. Storage things are wonderful. To mm -hmm. keep up. They're worth it. Very nice. And this is a different kind right here. Where you just got slots. This is a true ruler thing. It's oh, I see it now. I couldn't see it from before. This looked like metal. It is oh, a ruler guy. Yeah. Who was that by? Wesley. 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 Okay, those are nice. So I've seen the wood kind before. Very nice. So she's got everything up on the counters, and again, she says she likes to have her stuff out so she can use it. So very good that she has. The space to do that. I like being able to see stuff. And she's a red snapper girl. <laughs> do you no, use those? I use the red snappers and the leaders, but what I use for the sides. I like I like I, leader grips, period. I see I, you've got the yeah, whole thing a, here. Have because, you installed it? No, because I have these in there right now. I actually like the leader grips a little better because they don't come loose. The red snappers, they screw together. Oh, mine haven't come loose. Yours haven't come loose. I had a friend. I used to use hers all the time. And so that's why I purchased the leader grip. This is for the side thing because what you get with the machine is clamps like this. Mm hmm And, and I use that just, too. They, it pulls at the point It pulls of contact, and, right. And that and keeps everything it. straight. Mm -hmm. So, and the other thing I did when I have to get real close up to the side mm -hmm. is I can pin this. To the real edge okay and, and I mean it's scrap fabric with pit with a uh, oh, stabilizer okay and then you can pin it to the edge and then you can get it really close to the edge so that. here she has her next thing she's gonna quilt and she's uh, interviewing thread colors and I know another thing here talk about this what's that <laughs> that's I, pretty cool I can't keep track of, of bobbins and and thread so <laughs> For a dollar at the dollar store, I got rubber bands, mm -hmm. and and I r run the rubber bands that way. Very nice. And and you can hang them on. Do I have them on? You can hang them up on that on this thing that way too. So this is another nice thing in her work area is she purchased this. You said on Amazon. Yeah. And it's one a, an official thread holder. And then I'm sure you purchased this. It's separately a, right it's a display it's stand, a display stand but you purchased these. these on Amazon too, okay and yeah to hold her thread and so the stand doesn't come with the actual hooks I just want to make sure yeah, they no, know it that doesn't. It but doesn't. I'll try to see if I can find some of the things that she says she's got on Amazon and put the links down in the description box for you I'll try to search and, and maybe I'll get some of some of the links from her it's crazy how much you can find on Amazon. but yeah but amazing and you very know, nice I was about, not expecting that <laughs> and talk about your backlog of that's a, a quilt stand and I love it this is a quilt stand and it's really tall it comes up to my like breast area in the front one and then the back one is almost at shoulder height but th I have never seen a quilt stand like this maybe you all have but it's is it wood or metal no, it's metal it looks like it's metal it is metal. and she spray painted it purple she says she loves purple <laughs> so you won't find it in purple it was but gray. it's just beautiful and it's metal it's nice and sturdy it's not going anywhere and she uses it to drape her well, projects are, on very nice yeah these are I, I love the Asian fabrics and mm -hmm. I just was, beautiful I was getting tired of doing them on the domestic machine so now if I feel like I have some time I can just put it on this so how long have you had your long arm a year okay and what brand of thread do you prefer to use I like the superior now I have used the micro uh, the micro uh, thread when I don't want to change threads all the time there's a oh what's it called micro I, I use the, the so fine is my preference because it's easy okay but there's a micro I don't know where it is right now here it is it's micro quilter. Let me see the top just so they can see it. You have to adjust the tension on your machine. I'm trying to get it to focus. <laughs> you have to adjust the tension on your machine, but it's so thin it doesn't really stand out on your quilt. 
So when you want something that's gonna blend mm -hmm. in, it will Sit blend it down. In. I can't get it to focus and I want them to be able to read it. There you go. Superior Threads Micro Quilter. Okay, so yeah. this is the this particular brand of thread. So what yeah. colors do I, you normally get in that? Do you do it like more neutral colors as well? Yeah, it's so they're the, coming around the neutrals the now. The 707 is the one that's best for overall. Yeah, because it's like a gray, light grays uh -huh. and medium grays are really good. This 707, you well, you can see it better without the. Okay. This thing is, um, you can put it on any color and okay. you don't have to change. Do you use the same thing in your bobbins when you quilt it as yeah, on the top? I do. Okay, that's fine. I, I use the same colors, but I'll use bobbin bottom line. I haven't the, started doing that. Yeah, yet. but if you haven't and it's working, then don't do it. Because <laughs> it's just something else you have to buy, you know. I oh, buy the top yeah. thread and then I buy the bottom thread. So you get more thread if you're using the same thread. And eventually I might switch over but I haven't yet my machine just tends to like it it's, it's adjusted for that and that's why I use it but yes HQ Avante she's had for a year and so and I have the pro stitch is this a it. this is a television here right this is a television okay. so that I can listen to TV okay and then she's got like her little collection of shells seascape type things is pretty too that she got some decor I up, in here as well I grew up in New England oh, so it, awesome and it was there's a, a buoy that was my grandfather. So. <laughs> Very nice. And then, and then these are some of her finished wall hanging wall hangings, quilts. Oh, and this is fun. The snap bag. I love it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's stupid dorky. So but yeah. Okay. And she wanted to show you she has her Christmas quilt thrown up here and I like it as well. Let me show you the 3D on these packages down here. How she's folded fabric and then tacked it down on top. Very beautiful. But she had something she wanted to show me earlier and I told her not to mess up this stack. So let's videotape first so now she can show. Because that's 3D, I roll it on. So she rolls her store, something she rolls, she's saying she rolls on these pool floaties. Forgot what yeah, you call I them right now. Them right, now <laughs> right, but that's, um, but so this she's, is, she's got this ginormous bag. So when you take <laughs> quilts places mm -hmm. you know this has a zippered inside pocket wow. and so you can put your personal stuff in it too and, and, and not have to have a yeah, separate and bag it's canvas and it's a, very nice it's, that's a huge hold it up again I'm not gonna put your face in <laughs> but yeah that's a big bag <laughs> that is a big bag and then the rest of her stacks are quilts they're her larger quilts very nice but, and and I I love that with the, with the uh, <laughs> you got the um, minky minky on the back of this one. Yeah, I figured it out the hard way. I very I, nice how to do that. If you put the minky on top, you can quilt it easier without the minky stretching. So you put your top quilt down face the top of your quilt as the back. Of See, I didn't have to do that. Oh, really? I put the lengthwise that doesn't stretch. Ah, okay. On my leaders. And then you don't pull tight when you're rolling. So I didn't have problems. I don't, yeah, but I float everything. So. I, I float too. Oh, you do? Okay. So, so the minky's on the rollers. Okay. And I make sure that the lengthwise, the part that's the least it's stretchy not is, stretch. is not going to stretch. So look and see which side of it is not the least yeah. stretchy. And then you just don't roll tight when you put this on. Put, you know, your back. And then mine's work fine. I've done it for like two or three quilts now. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And well, then I also want to show you that she has a nice seating area. She has more quilts stored here as well. She just moved this stuff onto this love seat here. But it's just beautiful. I love this green and purple together. Nice <laughs> rug to tie it all together. More so she purple. has a very nice seating area as well. And then she has a few books there. She want to just chill out and read. And I see you've got a singer table here. Is there anything yeah. in it? Yeah, my grandmother's. My grandmother uh, came over from Italy on the boats. Okay. And she got a secondhand 1904 uh, singer. Okay, and pretty she cool. she used it tr that for a long time. Okay. Um, but I, I just... Beautiful. I like my computerized stuff. And then you can also see the dog crate. She also <laughs> breeds... So she uh, has that. You may even hear some of the dog bark. They're mad because she won't let them out because I'm here. 
<laughs> oh, and then another thing, I just saw this. She has a batting, the, the little nest for your batting if it's on your machine to hold your batting as you're quilting. You can put the batting inside of here and it keeps it off the floor if that's a problem. Very nice. Where did you get that? Handy quilter. Handy quilter, okay. And, and I see that they've actually... Amazon has it too. But. Yeah, so it's hooking onto the knob. I was wondering about that because I'm like, if you don't have handy quilter, how do you get this to hook onto other brands of machines? So it's a hook. Is this adjustable, do you know? I would... No. I don't know. But I, it, the table... But it this is but this is stretchy, so it should yeah. be able to go around. So you just have to look at your machine and see if it will work for your long arm. But that's pretty cool. So there's times that I want to kick all of my stuff underneath and can't because yeah. I got stuff under there. Well, the only thing that's, it, you, you occasionally have to test tension and threads and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is who cares fabric. Okay, so, that so I can you already, just... and I keep some of that too where I can just tack it on on the end somewhere and then do some test stitches and come on back very nice that's so waiting for it to be stitched up it, this it, right here this needs hand workers oh <laughs> this is for covering oh, dog cute. show crates okay so there's a lot of things you can do okay so this whole stack is your dog show crates or just no, this one just that one okay it needs some hand work okay. and uh yeah very nice now she has Another side to her basement is not set up. She uses it to do some breeding stuff, but we have on that side is where she hangs her quilts for photographing. And I just want to show you that section if it's okay. Yeah, I forgot okay. all about it already. Okay. <laughs> so let me go around here. So this is she this is actually her work area. She paints in here. She does the dog grooming in here. So it's not the prettiest. So I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. But I do want to show you this design wall where she has a pole hanging from the rafters. Can you see it without the light on? And it can even be lowered yeah. with this. It's, it's I can't nice. I don't know what that is called, but it's like this it's cording. It's yeah. on a pulley. It's a pulley type system. Uh -huh. That's what's and, up there. And that's on hook, on a hook so, that's in the rafter. So what I do is you could use, I have a king size sheet. I use the uh, folded over We're edge on the flat sheet. Focus. And and I can put the folded over edge on the flat sheet if the if the quilt doesn't have a sleeve. Mm -hmm. I can slide it there and use the okay. pins to pin it on. Very nice. And then show them your other last trick about this spot, about your light. She oh. even got a light under here. So I want her to just show you the difference when the light comes on. Wow, that was bright. <laughs> and yeah. I know you're not probably going to be able to see this light, but it is a LED light that's in the ceiling. Look. But very nice. So when I come back off of it, she's got this whole wall area here. You don't have to cut the light back on. Okay. She's got this whole wall area that she can use to photograph her quilts. So very nice. So thank you so, so much. <laughs> Anything you want to add that I forgot about storage or any quirky thing that you I do think you do different that somebody might enjoy? No, I have... My Asian fabrics are in my storage area because they won't fit in mm -hmm. there. But I, yeah, it's but very nice. It's just and I love seeing different spaces. You can always find something unique about every storage area that everybody can pull something from. So very nice. I found a lot of things. She <laughs> it opened my eyes to a lot of things that's on Amazon. Um. Just looking for different storage solutions that fit your style. So, very, very nice. So, that's going to end this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that you enjoy Francesca's space. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Bye-bye.